Ah, wait, this is an unboxing. That is not an unboxing because the postman handled this package very poorly. It has been damaged and it is full on open. It's a wonder that the thing inside didn't just fall out. Cynics might be thinking I am making this up to have a pop at Royal Mail and that I open it myself. But if you look, the actual thing that you pull off and you can see in every other video I have done, the thing that I pull to open it, it is intact. And this is just either a poorly assembled package or a poorly handled package. I know what it is. This is for the final gauntlet. And boy, Audi, is this going to be riddled with scorn. Very little positivity for this one. Our first minor infraction on the Son of Nimrod scale of annoyance is the cover. Once again, it is not remastered or touched up. And in this case, it is annoying because this cover they have used is a callback to an earlier cover an earlier cover they had on a previous epic collection and did recolor and it infuriates me that they are not uniform the entire idea of choosing this cover is to harken back to this one and you failed at it by cheaping out on effort and resources so this is for Epic Collection, the final gauntlet which collects the end of Tom Falcon's run and the start of the dismal run that follows. This is volume 20 with material from 1992 to 1993 and it collects four 451 to 467 as well as the four corpse mini series it begins with tom falcon's four issues nine of them and this is all 90s four until the final three issues which bring back four we have this was like 90s 4's arch enemy and they have a secret mystery identity that is ultimately revealed near the end of 90s 4's solo series and the reveal has all the stupidity of a character that has had 5 different writers all pushing different characters as being behind the mask despite this character only ever being written by one writer tom falcon he had a really long run on four and we have now got it all in epic collections which is neat but I think that nobody really considers Tom Falcon's run on four, the best run on four, is all that needs saying about it. It has its ups and downs. I think the biggest problem is the sudden changes in direction and style. He started off trying to continue stuff in the vein of Simon Waltonson. And that stuff was good. And then he gave up on that after a year or two. And started doing these really repetitive Silver Age Jack Quimby love letters. Bordering on parody territory. Then after two years of that he killed four off. And replaced them with 90s 4. And he did his weird 
Silver Age for the 90s thing that he often does that really doesn't work all that often in my opinion. But then after Tom Falcon wraps up his run, he launches a new ongoing series starring 90s 4, of which I have looked at the first two issues of. I'm kind of hopeful that they do a 4 epic collection with like a subtitle where it's like 90s 4 and you can get two four epic collections that are his series anyway under the shit we have a new run on four this is the blood and thunder run which began with jim starman writing and a really bad artist drawing jim starman leaves after three or four issues and Ron Mars Girl writes the rest of the run. There's not enough Channel Awesome references on my channel. This is an awful, awful run. Straight away, for he goes insane, actually insane, and spends 15 issues beating all his friends up brutally. And then Fanius shows up and cures him. The impetus for all of this is because he has fallen madly in love with this new character who is really ugly. And he is so madly in love with her, he will do anything she says, even kill his friends. And the shocking twist that you will not see common is that she is imaginary. I would rather have the first six issues of 90s 4's spin-off than this shite. It's such an awful, awful run. And the ending isn't for learning anything or any statement about 4. Or even any explanation for why he went insane. Fanius shows up and cures him. And says that four owes him one. The end. Awful art. Awful woman. And this isn't even the full story. It is going to dominate the next step of collection. Then we have another Tom Falcon story. This is a mini series called Four Corps. I won't go into it because it is exactly what it says on the tin. And you've got to turn this page sideways, which I love doing. It is pretty amusing how Tom Falcon blatantly ignores what is going on in Four's comic without um I mean Four. You only just try to murder Beta Ray Cyrus. We have some extras at the back. We have also had some interwoven with the collection. Let's find the one that I'm going to moan about. They had three remastered covers that they could easily have used for this. This is a terrible collection. I am thankful to have the end of Tom Falcon's run, but I ideally never wanted to have the crappy Blood and Thunder run, and Marvel probably knew nobody really wanted that, so that is why they arranged it, so that they could put the start of it in this one. Here is the entire Tom Falcon run in Epic Collections. As said, there's effectively more after this. There is 90s 4. And then he does a fill-in issue of 4 years later. And then in 1996, he writes another 4 related series. So saying this is the complete Tom Falcon run would be lying. 
and holding them all at once is really noticeable how down ill the production quality has gone. This first one feels so much more heavier and worth the money. I'll rate this... I'll rate this... 7 thumbs up.